One clap, two clap, hoorah, there we go, good, beautiful. Welcome to Plymouth State uh, University. We are the Adventure Ed uh, the majors and minors. Our process and facilitation class teaches you everything you need to know about how a group functions and how a group works and how you facilitate them in a way that gives them meaning to what the participants are doing. In this class we had experience uh, to work with 90 fifth graders. Uh, there were four different schools coming into one so it was important for them to get to know each other and that was the main purpose of our objective for the day. Oh, you did it! We are able to take everything that we learn, all the theories and methods and all of the lectures that we go over and we're able to apply them to real participants outside of the classroom. Or to try to get as many people as you can across the tire traverse, okay? It's just really hard to keep in mind that you have to not be nervous and be calm because these kids are just trying to have fun and meet new people and learn new things and it's all up to you to try and give them that great experience. And to them, I'm not just a 20 year old, I'm, I'm now their someone that they're looking up to and learning from. I need to be out there looking professional, acting professional. And that's all stuff that we learn about in class and then when you have to really apply it to real kids, it's an interesting experience. Hi everybody! I'm Matt, nice to meet you. I had an opportunity to, to facilitate an entire group, all 90 students at once. It was very interesting. I've never worked with 90 students all at once before. But it really helped me learn to stay calm to relax and I can I can do this. <laughs> I'm trying to think of another variation. Um, we do a bunch of blob tag. Oh yeah, let's do blob tag. We've learned that if you don't debrief something properly, it could potentially be meaningless and we don't want it to just be a fun game that they are just running around and playing. We want it to have meaning, so we try to put a focus behind what we're doing. So I think that if we can combine those two things that we learned in our earlier activities and apply them to the to the team walkers. It might, it might work out really well for us. And you made it! Great job, great job. Um, Jamie and Christian and every all the other professors at Plymouth State are so knowledgeable, it's almost crazy that Plymouth State is li um, lucky enough to have them as a teacher. They're just great, wholehearted people that are willing to help you whenever you need it. This might be a little too, too hard. hard at first. Yeah. So maybe at some point if it stays that way. So you're like, you step, maybe this is a challenge we should come back to. I know that some of you really want to do this, but I think we're going to come back to this and start with something else, okay? Through this experience, I've learned to trust myself so much more and to believe in myself that I can do uh, a lot more than I used to be able to. I've really learned that it's all about adapting to what your group is capable of doing. So having the knowledge and the skills to be able to do that is really important. Woo!